Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh boy. Strap into your seats, everybody, because this is going to be one tough trial. Hey. Is it? Oh yeah. Okay. The, the tri they don't mess around in this trial. And I, I, I think you're going to see why pretty shortly. By the okay. way, hey everyone, welcome back to Ace Hi. Attorney, but you all know the drill by this point. December 26th, 9.44 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Karma? That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. It? I was hoping for a gal! He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. You don't understand. I mean he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. Wh what Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Holy cow. Ugh. So, was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to find you guilty? What a creep! Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out! Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something that, like, Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh? We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? No! Oh! I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been in training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. Honestly, I don't want Mia there, I just want her. I try my best! I hope so. What are you whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Alright. Oh boy, December 26th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number three. That man looks like George Washington or something. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think I would stand here if I were not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared! Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now. Shut up, McCarthy. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Er, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Okay. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! W wait Mr. Von Karma? Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Wrong. There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Dang. Y yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not! <laughs> Witness testimony. The arrest of Edgeworth. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. 
We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Well, that's short. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now! Yeah, he might be my least favorite prosecutor. <laughs> the Great. arrest of Edgeworth. I was expecting better. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You thought it was like a female prosecutor, didn't you? Yeah. No such luck. You received a call from a Not man? That female is easier than male, but just like, I was expecting more fun. That's okay. Well, yeah, more character speed to voice. Er, uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Wow. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Who's the man? Different people? There were two witnesses! Irk! Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who is camping. The woman who is camping. Lot of heart. What happened next, detective? We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. Holy cow. That's pretty fast! Our motto for the month is, GET THERE QUICK! <laughs> Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Y yes sir, sorry sir. Do that and you'll be able to look forward to your next salary review. So much to look forward to these days. <laughs> This is no time for daydreaming! Continue! Y yes sir. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. HOLD IT! What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well... From what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Y y yes sir Man, he's got his share of objections. <laughs> it's like every time I say hold it, OBJECTION! <laughs> Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know! We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors! Yeah. Detective, this court isn't interested in your musings. Deep. Trusting. Poppycock! What? <laughs> I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Mm -hmm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now. I guess Edgeworth got his sense of style from the guy. <laughs> the same. They scarf. both are. They're definitely both uh, snazzy dressers. Did you find any clues on the body? I personally like Phoenix's suit. Like I don't see a sharp blue suit like that very often. No. A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet That's into evidence. That's amazing, considering he didn't shatter any ribs. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of ribs on your body. Excellent shot, I guess. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Wh why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon on the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. Detective Gumshoe, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right! Sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found on the boat was decisive evidence. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Ack! He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. It's not a laugh. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What?! He was trying to stop the gun. <laughs> order, order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Y yes your honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted into evidence. Pistol added to the court record. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective! Y y yes sir! Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick! 
What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking! To imagine someone here does not know what something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, me? Um, <clears throat> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. That's gonna kill my voice after a while, I am sure. That's what <laughs> I had with the other gal. Mata Heart? No. Or April May? No. Um, Vasquez. Vasquez. <laughs> after, after doing Vasquez, I was like, <coughs> Okay, now that I feel like I've been smoking. Well, order, order. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge... I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess. What the heck, man? Which will last ten minutes. Judge! Y yes What are you doing? A ten-minute recess! Now! But but um... wait I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Y yes <clears throat> This court will take a ten-minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? <laughs> December 26th, 11.09 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Um, uh, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What?! But, you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Th then who did?! I... don't know. You don't know?! Weren't you right there?! I heard a gunshot from very close by. It was the Loch Ness Monster! <laughs> then, the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but... I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? Didn't I call it the other night? I was like, man, the only way this could get darker is if there was a suicide. And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. It's too British. Okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to convince anyone <laughs> That's of that? The only say, so, oh. Say, Maya? Huh? W what? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry. It's no good. Ugh. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? No, I just- Yeah, you're useless! What?! Uh, I don't need you here. I don't think I can even save state to choose that one. No, of course not! I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. It's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Aw, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, right! Don't jinx this case any worse than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, s sorry. Whoops. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Kara, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Hey! <laughs> Lotta Hart, you are a research student at a university. That I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners. No, I don't. UNDERSTAND! <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I understand. Er, uh, very well. Your testimony, please. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. By lot of heart. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang coming from the lake. 
When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't near anything on the lake but that boat. Wow, that was really short. <laughs> Enough. Huh? Judge! She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Accept it as evidence. W well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Nice I like flip how flops, <laughs> Uh, order! I will remove you from the court if I do not have order immediately! As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There was no other boats on the lake! So, the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant Miles Edgeworth! Order! 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 I will have order! Well, Judge... The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, this court finds the defendant. W wait Your Honor! I haven't cross-examined the witness yet! A cross-examination? We have photographic proof! What question can there possibly be? What a jerk. This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty! You lose. Or... Do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Uh, Nick? Contempt? Contempt of court. You know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? I think there was, or I think there wasn't. I mean, if there wasn't, then they're just gonna be like, I find the dude guilty, so I guess there was. I actually don't think I've ever said this. Honestly, I found nothing. I don't know, I thought her testimony was strange. She was so vague about everything. I bet Von Karma probably fed her her lines. But... But if you don't cross-examine her, the judge will... He'll bang down that flimsy gavel of his and declare Edgeworth guilty. I guess we're just gonna have to bluff it. But if we mess up, contempt of court. Hey, if we lose, we'll be held in public contempt. Uh, right. So, same thing, basically. <laughs> yep. I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. J yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. This isn't Star Wars. Yeah, it is. Court. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Oh, boy. Cross-examination. Witnesses got wolf. Von Karma looks really evil in, <laughs> like, that little version. Yeah. Uh -oh. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. I know you want to find contradictions, but really! Mm hmm. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. Is this one, like, one where you just get punished all the time? For what? If you are like, hold it! Um, in the first game, you rarely, if ever, get punished, like, penal penalized just by pressing their statements. Okay. Why were you camping there, anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press. Press. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait, wait, wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then say it already. Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, your honor. <laughs> wow. You heard this bang come up from the lake. So, you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Ugh. 
When I looked out the window, I saw two jets in a boat. Could you clearly see the two men? Mm, just look at the picture. Clear enough for you. Uh-oh. Press fervor or hold back? Uh, I don't know. Wait a second! I wasn't asking you about the photo! I was asking if you saw the two men! Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. She said she was in the van. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot ran out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. No. Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? There wasn't nary thing on the lake but that boat. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a county a country girl gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. Press fervor or hold back. Bruh? How come you're so sure? Well heck I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? With her camera? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you <laughs> Mr. White! The witness has answered the question in full. Mm. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Y yes of course. Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. Dang it's... it, did we miss one? It seems you were unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. There were no contradictions. Mm. But, but your honor... You keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I am afraid that I will have to penalize any fervor outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood. Uh, uh-huh. Nick! Law's testimony is fishy, Nick! Really fishy! I know what you mean, but if I can't say anything, what can I do? Maybe it has to do with fish. I Maybe believe- she was looking at- Gordy. Maybe. I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Wh wh who was that? It was me. Maya! It is something wrong? D do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth! This is a matter of life or death! Lada! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down! The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lada! What's the big idea treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him! I swear it! I saw Edgeworth! Enough! Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court. Y yes yes of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No! It came by and becomes the defense. Wait! It was- I was the one who made the outburst, your honor! Nick is innocent! Ha! What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong or right? <laughs> the guilty verdict to be declared on the correct person. Are you gonna say right? I'll say right, but just because. Damn it, he's right. Nick! There must be something we can do! I don't think there is. The cross-examination is over already. But... Say she saw him? She did, Nick. She just said she saw Mr. Edgeworth. She didn't say that in her testimony, did she? You're right! Your Honor! Oh, yeah.
Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Yeah, we finally get to hear this music again. Order, 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 order! You're in contempt of court! It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection! I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What?! Miss Vada Harden has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But, but he is in contempt of court! No, I am! If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me! Hmm... Very well. My affair? You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick! I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck! M Maya! And goodbye, Maya. Yeah, I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. Oh, really? I'm running out of time. I'd better find a contradiction in there or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination. That last statement. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I could find anything in that. What will Maya say? If she saw it clear as day, she had to be close enough to actually see him. Which meant she wouldn't have been up there. Which meant maybe she mm. was near... Maybe she was in the boat? Maybe she was... What about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. White. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it! If you can. Mr. White, I have to assign you a penalty. Oh, wow! That, I think that might be the only time in the game that happens. Damn! That's it? Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, well, it's gotta be on this statement, right? So what are you thinking? You think it's she had to be close enough to the boat? Clear as day. Hold up. Go to the article. Can you zoom in on it? Oh look, it looks a little like hmm. This is Gordy. Saw it clear as day. Pistol. Fired three times. But I only said it was fired two times. Thought. There were two. Lada testified about two different gunshots. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, that is not found in the body. See the camera. So it's automatically take a picture when loud noise is detected. Faces the lake. Faces the lake. That makes sense. What about the autopsy? And bullet shot. Heart. Dang it! This is hard. Mhm. Mm what about the picture of the mom? Taken automatically at 12.15 a.m. Go back. And we can zoom in if we want. Go back to the autopsy. Of some time. You don't see the exact time. Yeah. Mm, it, see the other photo. This Not one? that one. The one that one. Oh, that's, this is the guide map. Oh. Or the overhead map. So there's the car. So there's that's the samurai dog stand, that's the boat shop, and that's where Lotta was camping. Where she's not allowed to camp. And then, <laughs> um, the boat was out and then, there. And yeah, okay. the, the boat was, like, right there. Okay. Wouldn't, would the camera have had to have been on an angle in order for it to be seen? No, it's facing no, the lake. it's facing the lake. Okay. So Do you not see it? Where is Day the man in the boat? It was Miles Edgeworth. It was foggy? Well, we can see it was foggy based on the lake photo. Okay. You want to try Is it that? that simple? I'll be mad if it's that simple. Yeah, sure. Yup. <laughs> Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. Wh what? You got what? Look at this photograph. Photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. 
Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth? How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please! Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course! I said I could and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it! I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. Witness testimony, how Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I took it or looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. That wouldn't work anyway. It's freaking <laughs> binoculars. You can't see anything with binoculars. I think we just have a crappy pair of binoculars. We, we probably do. I'm always like, oh look, Saturn's in the sky. I'm gonna look at it with binoculars. I mean, it if you're looking, work. if you're looking in like objects in space, you want a telescope. Sure. Not a binoculars. But also, like, oh, there's a deer in the backyard or something. I'm like, eh, like trying yeah. to look. It just still doesn't work. Hmm. You used binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. And I can't remember how long the court period is, so I'm not sure if this will be a good place to stop or not, or if it will be, well, next episode is real short. <laughs> you wanna works. Do you want to keep going? I'm good with whatever. Hmm. Because I feel like this is the time we ever need to commit to finishing the, uh, invest, uh, the court period, or take a break. You have a vague idea of how long it is, right? Or has it been forever since it's She has a, a few more testimonies. Oh. Maybe we should stop then. Alright, that sounds good. Thanks for watching, everybody! We'll see you next time for more courtroom shenanigans. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.